You've picked out the perfect Christmas tree. You're ready to bring it home. But could you also be bringing thousands of bugs into your home without realizing it? Yuck. That sounds like a lot of bugs, but is it true? We're gonna do our own unscientific experiment right here. Shake it out, see what comes out. Ugh. I shook my tree as hard as possible, even banging it on the ground to remove any and all ah. bugs. So what did I find? Well, I see a lot of needles. Oh, there's a bug. There's one right there. A little tiny one. Right I there. also found this little guy. There's a bug. It's a ladybug. Okay, so it's not 25,000 bugs, but oh. you still don't want to bring them home. Megan Murphy, executive editor at Good Housekeeping, gave me some important so tips. First off, inspect the tree. If you see any obvious bugs, stay away. Then take a cue from Taylor Swift. Before you bring any tree into the house, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it out. Once you pick out a tree, the next step is making sure you take it home safely. We found pictures and video of trees that are oh, way doing. too big for the vehicle. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Bigger is not always better in this case. You don't want a tree that is two times the size of your car. You want to make sure your tree is properly secured to the roof. This YouTube video shows what you don't want to happen. And I have my hand out the sunroof holding the Christmas tree to the vehicle. To make sure your tree doesn't go flying off the roof, use twine and tie it to the grab handle inside your car. Then loop it over the tree to the handle on the other side. You'll secure that tightly with two or three knots again, and then we're going to repeat this same process on the mid part of the tree, looping on the back door handles. Now we have a perfectly secured and bug-free tree ready for a very Merry Christmas.